Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about coding and programming and how awesome and fun it can be. Also how intimidating and uh, sort of scary and difficult it may seem on the surface, but actually isn't if you really take the time to uh, kind of approach it in the right way. And that's what we're gonna be going over. So yeah, I think most people think that coding and programming is super difficult and intimidating and there are parts that are difficult and very technical, but a lot of it isn't as bad as you may think and the attempts that you've made at learning how to code may have just been done in a way that doesn't reward you enough and doesn't, uh, doesn't make you excited to continue going. And that's what we're going to be covering and that's hopefully what I'm going to get you to the end of this video feeling excited to go code and, uh, you know, pursue your coding dreams. So the secret to learning how to code is to learn through doing a project. Now, what does that mean exactly? I mean, first of all, pick a language, any language. People get caught up in picking the perfect language. It really doesn't matter. Go look at what's popular nowadays. Obviously big popular ones are things like Python. If you're looking at pretty much something that can do everything, Python can do everything nowadays. Or if you're looking at like, you wanna be able to like make really cool web designs and, and front end stuff, you can just look, there's like the three big uh, JavaScript frameworks. So learn how to do J JavaScript and stuff like that. And then learn how to do either Vue, Angular or React. Um, I do Vue myself. That's like the new cool kid in town. Pick anything though. It's all, all of them will have roughly the same foundation, which you'll pick up along the way. So if you need to learn another language for a job later on, you can pick that up. That's what I've done. <clears throat> in my life and uh, and then just start a project right look up I mean there's tons of stuff online to do apps are like the big one that there's like a million guides for every language on how to create a to-do app because they're very straightforward right you have one little object and then you tick it off and like that's that's it it's very simple St but, but come up with any idea you can come up with something very personal to you and I'm going to talk about uh, sort of how I use this and how I spent ages uh, sort of learning the wrong way and then what projects I started that are actually very personal personal to me to really make everything click. So step one, start a project, right? And this basically means following the guide. Maybe you don't understand half of it. Maybe you don't understand any of it, but start follow a guide and, and get like something up and running. The most important thing is have something that's working. Have something that you can click a button and something happens and you're like, oh cool, that's that's really awesome that that's happening. Um, and uh, Ooh, I forgot what I'm saying. So yeah, I can't stress how important it is to work and learn through your own project. And that's basically, that's what I did. I uh, started my professional IT career uh, working as like tech support for this like little startup and very quickly became a developer there. I mean, I had a little experience trying to teach myself how to code and I understood very basic stuff, um, the foundational stuff about how certain things work, but I couldn't go home and do the same thing at home. I couldn't, I, I still didn't understand how I could have an idea and turn that into something yet. I wasn't there yet. And in that sense, I, not, the, the dots hadn't connected yet. I hadn't really learned how to code properly. And I was in that job for like a year, right? You can, you can work in IT and still not feel confident and not know exactly how to code how to build your own program. And that was a problem for me. I felt like I had all these ideas. I had all these, um, all this knowledge from my job and I couldn't actually put it together into something cool. And then I found a really awesome uh, web application ebook that sort of taught you how to make a web application, like really straightforward. It's got hello, hello, simple web app, uh, wait, let me look this up. Okay, yeah, it was called Hello Web App by Tracy Osborne. There will be a link in the description down below. It was maybe like 40 bucks or something when I bought it, uh, like at the end of last year. So that's how recently this is, right? Uh, end of last year when I bought it and I just blitzed through it. It teaches you very straightforward. Like this is that guy that I was talking about, but instead of watching a YouTube video, I went and found myself an ebook that really made sense to me. It was no bull. It was just straight to the point. Here's how to do everything. And by the end of it, I had a, a, a website basically. I had a web application and I was like, oh my, I have an actual, like it's not just a website, right? It's not just HTML and CSS and JavaScript, right? It was, it had a database connected to it, right? And it was using, it was using Django, which I now use thoroughly. I use Django all the time to build all of these different ideas that I have. I, I, I can actually build stuff now um, and it connected a lot of the dots I had ideas on how, how you know proper programming works with with uh, conditions and loops and variables I'm just throwing out you know keywords here um, I had some of that knowledge and I had some uh, web development knowledge but I didn't know how to merge them together and uh, this ebook did that and then I realized oh I have a project I can kind of add on to it 
and from that point I was I was set. And that was that was that was when I learned that like the reason I wasn't gaining much out of and not I didn't feel motivated, didn't feel confident when I was doing these little tests online. I was like going on hacker rank or doing these little apps where you know you can you kind of guess you know which code to put into the code block or whatever. I didn't feel like I was really learning much or didn't feel confident in coding because I wasn't being really rewarded besides a hey good job buddy. You got the question right. Um, it's way more rewarding and way better when you have your own personal project. Like for me, it was like I used that ebook to create websites for other things I pursued. So I used to have um, a web show called The Lead Digest and I made a website for that. Then I started a web agency at the start of this year called The Earth at Square, which you may hear me talk about in future videos. And I made a website for that. And I spent tons of time making that website and, and going back and forth between the back end and how to, you know, use Python to create all these cool features that, you know, it doesn't even, it doesn't even here on the website it was more for me and my co-partner at the time uh, and then I learned so much about front-end as well and like I thought I knew a lot about HTML and CSS and, and stuff like that and now I learn I know so much more than I knew back then because I'm constantly I'm making stuff now and that's the big thing is like learning through make learning through projects and you need to get started have something that's working because then you get that little that little dopamine hit of like oh, oh my god this thing works it has to be well it's going to be messy it's going to be real messy right and it may be filled with bugs but that's that's you need to just ignore that if you're a perfectionist like I know I can be uh, you need to forget about it. Forget about it completely. Have the dirtiest code in the world. Uh, have a million bugs. But when you click the thing, the ugliest little pop-up comes up and that's what you wanted. It works. And even if it's ugly, you go, oh my God, it works. And start from there. Get it working and then work backwards. You know, you're going to learn more and more every time. You're going to be able to clean up your code. Go back, clean it up, refactor it. Um, you're going to be able to like fix bugs over time. But if you focus on getting it perfect day one, you're not going to have something that works. You're not going to be rewarded for it in your head. And then you're going to quit because it's, it's too much. It's too complicated. It's too intimidating. Get something that works and then add little features and just rush them. Just rush them. Just get the features in there, right? You want to add a to-do list, but you want to add a description to each little to-do list item, right? Just rush it. Throw a field on the database object and, and then throw it into the web page and see the word pop up, right? And then when you've got the word there, you're like, oh, I can add more words. Oh, I can customize this so it only pops up when I click this little thing. You know what I mean? Like add on to it afterwards, but get things working as soon as possible possible in your project, right? So step one, start a project and get it to a point where it's working. You could know absolutely nothing and get to that point because you just follow a guide step by step, right? Step two is find, think of features that you want to add. It could be, it doesn't have to be original, right? This is not a, you're not going to create your first web app and be famous and rich immediately. You're not going to create the next Facebook immediately. Just get a feature in your head and implement it as crudely as possible. I mean, okay, don't, don't try and make it really ugly. Just put it as quickly as possible, right? Put it in there as quickly as possible. Doesn't matter how ugly the code is. If it works, it works. You can fix it later on. And doing all of these steps, you're gonna feel so good. You're gonna feel, oh my God, I have this thing. Hey, friend, come look at this thing I did. I know it's got bugs, but I did it myself. I'm a coding genius. And then and then you're set. Once you get to that point, you're good, right? I, I got to that point in the end of last year after working in IT for nearly a year, I felt nothing clicked. And then I, I started making my own projects and just rushing features, putting them in there. And I'm like, oh my God, things are clicking so much now. And, and you can just go back and redo the same project every month and it will be better and better and quicker and quicker each time. And you, you just need to start rewarding yourself and building things in a way that are gonna pay off quickly because that's gonna be the best way that you learn. And I'm sorry if I keep pulling this microphone away from my mouth, I'm not used to talking into a microphone that I have to hold. That's, that's it. I mean, it's basically two steps. I mean, actually, you know what? I didn't have clear cut steps. I kind of made up those steps as I was as I was talking hopefully that helps you guys like that's that's been the biggest thing for me in my life as a coder and you know next year maybe I just drop coding altogether and I start doing something else that's that's what I do I just like I like dabbling in pretty much everything that can possibly exist um, and you guys are gonna see a lot of awesome content from me about coding, about lifestyle. I mean, I can, I can do whatever and I'm still really figuring out what this channel is gonna be. I've been getting a lot of inspiration from other YouTubers that I think I can pull things from. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about coding, leave them in the comments down below or tweet me. If, you know, if you've got very specific questions, feel free to tweet me or comment down below. Uh, if you wanna ask uh, feedback on, if you wanna like, uh, you know, I'm happy to like add you on Discord and talk through your project with you. I'm happy to help all of you. 
just leave a comment down below or tweet at me and, and I'll get back to you. Everything's in the description below. Um, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe, you know, and, and leave a like, like physically leave a like because YouTube really likes that stuff. And uh, until the next video, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. That's a video. I think that's a video right there.